Six ways positive behavior management is good for your well-being. This is taken from an article published by the Highly Effective Teacher, and I'll put the link below the video. Positive behavior management is defined as an approach that emphasizes prevention, support for students, avoiding confrontation with students, and focusing on the development of values, relationships, and skill building. A positive behavior approach is demonstrated by explicit teaching and practice of expected behaviors, positive reinforcement for behavior, opportunities for students to air concerns and tell their story, planned responses to inappropriate behavior that include additional teaching and support. Teachers who adopt a positive approach to behavior are more likely to have improved well-being through increased job satisfaction since they are not looking for a quick fix, but recognize that, like all learning, we need long-term solutions that take the needs of the student into account. So number one, focus on the positive. When you focus on the positive aspects of student behavior, you increase the likelihood that the behavior you want will increase in frequency and intensity. By giving attention to positive student behavior, you reinforce that behavior and remind students of appropriate behavior. What you focus on impacts your well-being. So focusing on the positive is good for your outlook and mental state. For example, if students have just come into the classroom and they're taking a while to settle, rather than highlighting those that haven't unpacked their bags, that are still talking, that aren't paying attention, start to focus on those that are and rewarding them. Well done, I can see you're doing this. Thank you very much for being ready to go. Call out names as well to explicitly recognize behavior. Well done, John. I can see that you've got your things unpacked and you're already paying attention, setting a great example. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. You're helping yourself and you're helping others. Number two, using positive language. Since you are the person who hears everything you say, and sometimes you may think that you are the only one, it makes sense that the language you use impacts how you feel. When you are using positive language to others, it has a positive effect on your well-being. That is, why talking about others in a negative way leaves you feeling depleted and low. Your self-conscious mind does not know the difference between talking about others and talking about yourself. Number three, healthy classroom culture. Positive behavior management creates a positive and supportive climate in your classroom by providing a scaffold for students in how to treat each other. When students see and feel you treat them with dignity and respect, they are more likely to treat you and each other in the same way. A positive class culture promotes teacher and student well-being. And number four, it really works. There is no silver bullet in behavior management, but a positive approach has been shown repeatedly to have more success in changing behavior than punitive measures. When you understand that students who display inappropriate or challenging behavior lack skill and understanding, then you will see that they need to be educated and supported rather than punished. Continually using methods that do not work is a source of stress for teachers. What did Einstein say about doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result? And number five, it improves relationships. Teachers want the best for their students, and when they adopt a supportive, helpful role in student behavior, relationships with students are enhanced rather than damaged. Punitive approaches are detrimental to student-teacher relationships as they destroy trust and credibility. When students know that you will listen to their side of the story and that you will provide support when they need it, they are more likely to listen to and learn from you. And number six, it is more enjoyable. Catching kids being good, giving positive feedback, explicitly teaching students how to behave and being a supportive teacher feels much better than being an authority figure who doles out punishment. Smiling, being happy, and positive is good for your health and well-being. After all, teaching should be a highly enjoyable profession on a day-to-day -day basis, if for no other reason than because when our students are happy and we're happy, we're all more effective learners.